Hello everybody. I am on here making a, another video for you guys. I know it's been a while. We've just had a lot going on recently. Right, buddy? Yeah. Um, so we are just making a video today, uh, about my most asked. And that question would be help. I just had a litter of rabbits. What should I be looking for? Um, and what should I be doing for them? So I just had a litter last week of Silver Fox, our first Silver Fox litter on the homestead since last year. Um, so I'm going to be going over all those things, all the things that you're going to need, like from A to Z, hopefully it covers everything. Um, so before you go ahead and go grab your babies, you're going to want somewhere to put them when you're looking at them, evaluating them, uh, especially when they're nest box size. Um, this is perfect for them. It's just a spare little small um, nest box I have. And then you're going to want some new bedding because uh, you're going to want to change the uh, nest box material. I just use hay. Um, everybody uses something different. This is just what works for me. So my first litter we're going to look at is from a blue doe and a chocolate silver fox buck. As you can see, the nest box is full of fur, like there's barely any hay in it. Um, we're going to take the fur out and we're gonna look at each baby individually. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this because this is going to be a great example of a mom that's feeding some, but some could definitely use a little bit more feed. Um, so this baby looks nice and healthy. Um, it's not wrinkly. It's got a nice belly. It is like afternoon time. So you'll notice if you check them earlier in the morning or way later at night, they're going to be a lot more plump and well fed. And that is because mom feeds early morning and late at night. <laughs> Ashton. <laughs> so this baby I'd say looks great. This baby um, was always on the smaller side. You know, the smallest babies, I always don't have high hopes for them, um, but I do give them a fighting chance. Um, but this one, I would, if any of your babies look like this, especially in the morning, I'll give a better shoot of it. Hold on. Um, I would definitely be considering um, either fostering to a litter that's not as big or going to um, start like bottle feeding them. And I'll go over that later. Although I've never had to do it. Um, I do let them fight a little longer. Personally have never had a successful syringe feeding, bottle feeding litter of rabbits. It just has never worked for me. Um, it's very hard to do. So if you have done it, kudos to you. But I personally, don't. Maybe that sounds cruel or heart heartless, but I let mother nature take its course. If that rabbit was not meant to be here or have a fighting chance at survival, then, you know, I will mercy cull sometime. Here is a size difference of two kits. That is the same kit. Um, so just so you can tell the difference, I hope this helps a little bit. But um, the one on the, the black one is definitely what you're going to be looking for, especially midday. It's pretty good size, I'd say. But this one, I would definitely um, consider culling early um, because it is going to struggle to continue to nurse from such a large litter. My other doe has nine babies. Otherwise, I would foster it out. But so as you continue, continu I cannot talk, but as you continue to look at the litters, um, you're going to notice some babies are going to be um, very, very fat. Some babies are going to look very not well fed. Um, and you're just so as I sift through the litters, I'm looking for deformities or anything else just to note. Um, this is a little chocolate baby. So after I look at all of them and move them into a separate box just for cleaning purposes and looking at purposes, I will take all of the 
nest box, old nest box material and replace it with new ones. Once they hit this like over a week age where they're starting to get fur, they don't really necessarily need mama's fur, especially in the heat of summer and spring, which it is right now. We do not need all of this fur. Mom will continue to pull fur as she sees fit. As you see, I made like a little nest um, for them to go in right here. Um, and I'm gonna start putting them in. And you're gonna wanna make sure you recount them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, so you're going to want to get this stuff. You can get it on Amazon. It is quite expensive. Um, you're also going to want to get raw goat's milk if you can. If you can't, this is okay. Uh, I would stay clear of kitten milk replacer just because it does not equivalent the same diet as like a rabbit. It's just, I just wouldn't. Um, rabbits need a certain amount of protein and vitamins in their milk. So at least with this, it has those. It is used by rehabilitators for baby rabbits, so this should do you good, okay? Um, when you're gonna mix it with goat's milk and heavy whipping cream, you can add. Like I said, I'm not great with uh, the intervening with bottle babies. I have not had the opportunity to, so if you do, please <laughs> make sure uh, you watch like a better educated video. I am just going based off of what I was told to have on hand. Uh, if I did have to. This type of nipple you can get on Amazon. I can link everything um, for you guys in a list, but this type of nipple is what you're going to be looking for uh, to feed the babies. Now with the checking of the litters, um, I start by on day like one through six. I will be checking twice daily and then I'll move to once daily. Um, I do that just because I'm more comfortable after day like seven, pretty much, uh, with just checking once a day. You'll find as you start to have more litters, you'll get more com comfortable and accustomed to what your rabbits uh, tolerate and who's a good mom and who's not. I just wanted to state here um, that it is a myth not to touch rabbit babies, especially if you are raising them on your own. It is completely fine to touch those little babies. You want to check them out ASAP. So I talked about previously mercy culling. There are videos online of how to do that. I am not going to go over that process. I do not feel comfortable filming that on YouTube for you guys. Um, there are other YouTubers that have filmed that um, that are more comfortable with going over that process. I hope this video helps you guys um, on your adventure with your first litters or you know maybe an, it was an accidental litter but hopefully this helped if you have any questions let me know in the comments or send me an inbox on my socials bye